half a day from Guam, family, friends, and fans. I got my sketch box in the mail yesterday. So um, I figured I would let you all see what's inside and see what project we can come up with. So let's take a look and see what's inside. This will be the February 2018 sketch box. It sounds like it's got a lot of stuff in here. So let's see what's inside. Okay. I apologize for the for the funky angle that we're at right now, but um, I'm using the video camera versus my phone this time, so I'm trying to get things adjusted. So this is more of a trial and error kind of thing. So let's take a look and see what's inside. I'm actually going to uh, use a sharp object on camera, so this is kind of scary. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. All right, so that was successful. Now let's get those out of the way before anything bad happens. Let's take a look and see what's inside. Ooh, ooh, I am, ooh. I hope this is what I think it is. All right, let's take a look. That is really pretty. Ooh, we got three cards in here looking for some direction. This, so this, this card right here talks about where you can go to um, get basically a tutorial on the, on how to use the stuff that's in the box. This is a drawing from the artist that they are featuring who is Gary, Gray Grimm. And then here are the contents of what is in the box, and it is, oh, I'm excited. Okay, this right here is Inktense Pencils. I cannot tell you how excited I am for this. I have a set of Inktense, but I have the older set. So this is um, the new tin that has um, Lisa Clow from Lock Refine Arts artwork on here and I watched her um, YouTube videos and how she did this so I'm super super excited to have this even though it's a smaller set than what I have I need to replace some of my pencils so oh I'm excited this just made my whole day okay and then along with those we have a pen that doesn't have a lid there's the lid okay hopefully it's not dried out um, hopefully some time in there will moisten it back up but I have other pens like this one. So we have the Pigma brush pen and then we have a Prismacolor Premier brush tip mark. So lots of brush tip markers this time. Oh, it's a red one. Okay. I probably shouldn't draw my skin, but um, I do. And then we have a 411 brush pen by Ecoline. And it is an orange a uh, burnt sienna color. Okay. Not quite what the tip is, it's more closer what to what that is. But and then this tab I'm sure comes from the the tin fell off in shipment, but when it's shipping to Guam, lots of bad things happen. So the fact that it all came out in one piece is good. Okay. This is a Strathmore Tone mixed media pad. It's a little pad. I like little pads. They're nice and I really like this paper. It's nice and sturdy so we probably should, we shouldn't have any bleeding with bleeding through with markers so oh, uh, this is probably going to be my absolute favorite sketch box so far uh, mostly because the ink tents are in here so I am actually looking into buying um, the newer set a fuller set but uh, this will definitely get me started I'm so excited okay well that is the this is the contents of the sketch box, February 2018, so stay tuned and let's see what I can create with the amazing stuff that was in this month's box. Alright, so let's get this party started. So I was so excited to get this project started that I forgot to turn the camera on until I was most of the way done sketching out my dragonfly. So when I finally remembered to turn the camera on, this is where we started out at. So what I've done here so far is I found a picture on Pixabay that I really liked of a dragonfly on a blade of grass and so I took that and I actually you can't see it but I do have my phone just off camera with the picture on and I just took it and I just sketched what I could see it's not completely accurate to the photo but is as close as I could get freehanding it um, with you know as quickly as possible um, I am using right now I'm using a water soluble graphite pencil to sketch this out because I don't want my lines to show through I want when I add the water to the ink tents that it'll blend out and then I won't have those lines you'll just see the ink tents um, and then I'm also using my little Tombow mono eraser these things are awesome if you do not have one and you do a lot of drawing 
and fine detail. I highly, highly recommend this eraser. It is a lifesaver when it comes to tiny details. I found mine, I got mine on Amazon a couple years ago, and they're, they're super inexpensive. Tombow Mono Eraser. All right, and then as I continue on, I wanted to fill, I, I got so excited to try the dragonfly that I started filling in the dragonfly first, and I'm like, hold on, stop. So uh, after adding a little bit of color to his back, I wanted to see if I could get the metallic feel for it, and I stopped, and I decided let's to work on the background first. So that's where I'm adding all the, I'm just, I'm not even being careful with my lines. I'm just staying away from the dragonfly. That's that's it. But I'm just coloring in all directions in the background because I know when I add the water, I can blend it all out. And I did this several, two or three times. I just just to get the background um, dark enough the way that I wanted. I could have kept going, but I wanted to get this done in a timely manner. So I stopped. I think three layers of the background until enough that I was satisfied, and then I started on the dragonfly. Now with the dragonfly, it was a little tricky because the details were so small and even though I love ink tints, the pencils have a hard time keeping a fine point. So I had to constantly resharpen my pencils and uh, put in those teeny little details. And then um, and then when I got enough layers on in, then I'd add the water and blend it out very carefully so that it wouldn't bleed through to the other areas. And I just kept doing that. I did that several times, several different layers on part of the dragonfly until I got it to look the way that I wanted, and I just moved on. Now, I did not, this set does not come with white. I pulled white from my personal set to add the highlights, which turned out to be a really nice effect. So I did cheat just a little bit with that. Um, so if you want to get ink tents and you have this set and you Want, want the white, you can buy the white. I believe you can buy the white open stock on Amazon. If not, Dick Blick also has it. So, and it's it's pretty inexpensive, but it's definitely a handy pencil to have. <clears throat> and then I'm also using my water brush pen. This did not come with the sketch box, but I had several of these, and it was easier than using the paintbrush. So, I just filled it up with water, and then I just brushed, up, brushed the water on as I needed it. Now, and you want to make sure you let the it dry before you start adding more layers or it's going to activate the the ink tints when you place it on the wet surface which is a nice effect if that's what you're going for but that's not what I was going for I wanted to lay it down first and then and then manipulate it with the water as I saw fit so and as you can see I um, was not paying attention to the angle of the camera and I was getting so involved with this project that I stuck my head in the camera often for that I apologize as you can see my my uh, silver hairs are shining through six kids will do that to you so I did I cut out as much of it as I could but I didn't want to take away too much of the of the video so you know you had some fluency with with everything so here I am just adding details to the wings now. They was, those were really tricky. This is where the pen came in handy. I added the I added um, the fine details with the pencils as best I could. And then I went over with the, the pen because the ink tense black just didn't get black enough. And I needed to have that nice thick black. So I, would, I went over with the pencils first. And then I went over on top with the black. And then again with the pencils so it didn't look flat black and it gave it a really nice effect. Now on the grass this is where the white came in handy because the colors that I have are very vibrant and the grass that I have I didn't want it to stand out more than the dragonfly so I laid down some white first and um, just and then I would add the the greens or the yellows and then some more white but I, would, I wanted to make sure that it was not like vibrant green but it actually looked like grass green. So and I just did that and I added my shadows with the blue that came in there, the blue and the brown I believe. And I just love adding the water to this. It's like magic because you have what looks like a crayon effect at first and then you add the water and it just it just smooths it all out and makes it look. It's I think that's why I like the ink tint so much because there's such an extreme difference while you're working. It looks, you get that ugly face and then you add water to it and bam, it just it's amazing. So for the final touches with this dragonfly, I used the markers that came in the box so I could say I used everything and I just added accents to the back of the dragonfly. 
I had so much fun with this project and it actually encouraged me to get out my ink pens and use them again. And I actually bought the full sets of both blocks and the pencils, so I'm excited to use those. Well, hopefully you enjoyed watching that as much as I enjoyed making that. So I have to admit, out of all the sketch boxes that I have done, this was by far my favorite project. So here it is, completed. This one was so much fun. I could have kept working on this for for much longer than I did, but I had other projects to get done. That's the good thing. Of, that's the great thing about um, Derwent ink tents. It's right here. Is because they are wa they are um, water soluble ink that you can keep layering and layering and layering, and it, you will never run out of um, the ability to layer. So. I was able to get a lot of color saturation on this and I am thrilled with how it turned out. Now when it came to the two markers that I got, the Prismacolor um, Premier Marker and then this Ecoline Brush Pen, I didn't really use them a whole lot. I used them in this project so I could say that I did and I tried them out. They're really nice but for this project they just didn't work. Now I did cheat a little bit if you looked in the video. This set does not come with a white. I have my own set, so I pulled the white from that one and used that to add some highlights on this. But other than that, this all came from this tin right here, and then I used, um, uh, uh, let's see, I used one of these. You can use a regular paintbrush with water, or you can use one of these and put some water in there. This is what I use, it's much better. And it works like a watercolor pencil, and just go over it. And then when it dries, you can go over, you can put some more layers down. That's what I did several times, and so I was able to get this. I'm super, super happy with how this turned out. So this is definitely going into my um, my portfolio, and um, save for maybe a souvenir. Maybe I'll frame it sometime. I I know it sounds really dorky, but I'm really happy with how that turned out. So that is it for the February 2018 um, sketch box. Um, I hope they keep up this standard because this was a great, great box. I had so much fun doing this one. I'm excited to see what next month's is going to be. So stay tuned and I will keep you posted on what that one's going to be. Take care. See you later. Bye.